Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this new tutorial. So in this new tutorial, we're going to be working on our custom fields. I'm going to show you how you can add customizable custom fields like these. And also I'm going to show you how you can design them. You can see that we're adding some styling to them right here over here using our CSS. And after that, I'm going to show you how we can uh, take the values that we're going to be inserting over here. We're going to be taking them and inserting them into the database. And after that, we're going to be uh, retrieving. So we're going to be doing all that without the need for any external plugin. It's going to be all in WordPress, just using PHP code. So if you're interested in this, join me and let's get down to it. Okay, so from here, we created the previously our custom post type. So now we're going to be creating our custom fields like this one. Fields. So the first one is going to be a function. So let's call function over here. Function, let's call it custom slash fields. So this one, it can, uh, it's not, uh, you can write any function that you want. Can just proceed with that. Okay. And over here, we need to add the meta box. So add slash the meta box, box like this one. And let's uh, not just like these, let's close it. So the first parameter kind of just keep it empty. It's not that important. I think it's related to if you have multiple custom fields. So in our case, we have just one or also we can call it uh, cars over here cars cf uh, custom post type custom fields not custom post type okay so for the second one it's gonna be the name of our uh, custom field so let's call it for example cars details like this one so this one uh, we're gonna be seeing that later on just remember this value over here so the third parameter is really important it's gonna be the function so basically over here, we're just initializing our custom fields and inside this function over here, it's going to be creating it later on, is where we're going to be having our real custom fields. So let's call it CF, CF, like this one. And for after that, this one is also important. Also over here, let's, let's make some comments over, let's call it the function, CF uh, custom field, fields function. Over here, down below, we're going to be having the type of our custom post type. So over here, as you know, we have in cars, we created cars as a post type. Also, let me just create a new one. So let's call BMW DM5 series and let's hit publish. So basically the custom fields will show over here. So let's just publish this one. All right, and let's keep track of it. We're gonna just refresh this page. Okay, so back over here, we have already the function. Over here, let's add cars. So basically it has, uh, we need to make it or to write it exactly like over here. Register post type exactly the the same pronunciation or the same uh, spelling over here. So as you can see, it's not capital; it's minimal. So cars like that. You know what? Let's write it over here. Let's call it uh, custom custom post type. Just to keep track of everything over here, let's call it the title of custom fields like this one over here. okay and down below over here it's gonna be the position also we don't we should not forget the comma over here so over here it's gonna be the position and where we're gonna be putting our custom fields so in my case I would like to put it right behind right below our uh, WordPress editor so for that I'm gonna just uh, set it as normal over here and for the position I'm gonna put it as low not high low so for example you can put your custom fields over here you can put them up below whatever you want okay so now all we have to do is to uh, initialize this function over here execute this function okay so let's do it so function cf make sure that they have the same uh, naming you can see that over here cf cf all right so let's inside this one so let's just make an example echo something like hello there Okay, let's close that because we are on the PHP. So now we created both functions. So what we need to do right now is you need to add the action, just like for our custom post type. We need to do the same for our custom fields. So we need to execute this function once our admin is initialized. So for that, let's add action like this one. First parameter is gonna be the uh, admin slash uh, init. And for the second parameter is gonna be the name of our first function. This one, the custom fields, not the second one, but the first one, because this one has uh, controls everything. Over here, you can see that we have uh, the title over here. We have the custom post type fields, and also we have the custom post type, custom field, and custom post type. So let's put this function over here inside these like that, and let's close it. Excellent. So now let's do refresh and let's see. 
to refresh excellent so now you can see over here that we have hello there so basically any value that you're going to be putting inside the our cf function is going to be displayed over here over here i mean so for that let's do another example i would like to add some html code so for that we need to close our php like this one php let's close it like this and inside over here let's add uh, some php for example let's add a paragraph this is random text save so refresh excellent we have it over here also let's add an input just for the sake of testing input let's for the type of it let's call it uh, let's make it text we want to submit some text values so let's do refresh excellent so now we can see so now what i'd like to do is to add some styling to our uh, our custom fields but before that let's just remove this uh, loader over here let's call it the pricing of our cars car price and for the input gonna just keep it like that so basically once someone submits a car you can add its pricing over here okay so let's work on the styling so for that over here i'm gonna just create or add style style actually this is not the best practice because we need to uh we need to include the css from the uh, index files but we're going to be doing that later on i just want to show you everything uh, displayed over here so over here let's uh, go over here and let's for example price over here i'm going to add a class it's called just text over here and let's address it address it from our style so let's call it text like this one and start with our custom size uh, font size let's make it 1.5 rem let's do refresh and let's check over here excellent so now we have our uh, our css is working so let's put it on the center so text align center and also for the color i'd like to make it to the white smoke the white smoke looks pretty cool okay so let's save and let's do refresh as you can see we're not able to see it but let's add the background color so over here let me uh, add some background so div just take that end of the div and put it right over here below and over here let's add the background color class pg pg is referred to the background so if let's go down so pg let's do test background color let's make it red just a test to refresh excellent so now you can see it's working also i'd like to do something to i would like i have a different background color it looks pretty nice i've wrote it over here down let me show you that so first i'm gonna start with the linear gradient and actually we don't need this gradient this color just background over here so let's add the linear gradient like this and inside the parentheses let's add the following first 0.25 turn not sure about this value over here why it's showing like that but just proceed and see what's gonna come after that over here so let's add the first color so oops this one over here so it's three four four nine five seven like this one and for the second one let's let's just make an example red blue so it's gonna take three colors and it's gonna make an awesome uh, gradient which apparently is not working so let's check what's what's wrong with it oh i get it over here so basically we need to have uh, we need to have no space between these so let's just uh, remove that space 0.25 turn so let's save and to refresh over here so basically it's working also let me change the colors so these are just for testing so for the red i'm gonna change it with uh 36 for a like this one and for the second one the third one i'm gonna just copy this one over here so it's gonna be gradient of uh, this color over here and in the middle we're gonna be having this color so let's save and let's go back excellent so now we're having that beautiful color also over here i would like to uh, round the corners you can see that we have sharp corners I prefer this approach over here so let's add a uh, border radius 0.5 rem let's check excellent so now we have a nice turn over here okay so now let's address our input 
so this input field over here I would like to address it so from there let's uh, over here I would like to put it inside a div so that we can address the entire div and after that we can address the input specifically so let's put it over here gonna just remove this one and class over here so let's call it input and over here for the class of our inside input let's call it in input slash uh, text or something like that all right so now let's address the input the main input so point input uh, like this and the first one's gonna be uh, the width I would like to take it all the way to the side not just this one or we'll just take it from to take everything so let's do with let's make it 90% just 90% and also for the margin margin uh, let's make it auto auto margin so basically this auto margin is gonna take this div over here and it's gonna be putting it in the middle over here so the the distance from here it's gonna be the same from here and also from the top the same distance from the top it's gonna be the same distance distance from the bottom okay so let's do refresh and let's see so it's put it's put over here because we still need to uh change the the input let's let's see that you can see it over here but we need to put it in the center so text align center let's see if this one's gonna work even though it's not text excellent so now it's working so we put it in the middle but also over here let's address the input text we'd like to make the width 100 percent 100 percent inside the 90 percent so it's going to take all this space over here excellent also over here on the bottom i would like to add something i would like to add a break just to give it a break over here down below you can also do it from the margin bottom or the or the padding bottom so saving over here excellent so now we have a little space okay so that's it for this first part of this tutorial so we learned how to create this custom field over here and make some styling to it so in the next coming tutorial so we're going to be learning how can we uh, insert some data over here to the database and also after that we can retrieve it and put it over here in the second uh, in the second part okay so thanks a lot for watching i'm gonna see you in the next tutorial take care